Hey guys, so today we're making some Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I'm going to start with some shaved steak that I bought from my local grocery store. It was already shaved. If not, you can purchase a steak and freeze it um, for a little bit and then slice it up thinly. And so I'm just seasoning it with some salt, some pepper, some adobo seasoning. I don't care what seasonings you use. Just make sure your food is not bland. We don't want no bland food, y'all. And so I'm also gonna add in some garlic powder, onion powder, you know, all the staples that people usually have in their refrigerator. And so I'm just gonna season up this beef because we want it to be nice and flavorful as we make our delicious egg rolls. So next I am gonna saute the steak and so I'm using some olive oil and then I am going to um, saute this in batches so that we can get a nice color on our steak. We don't want it to steam. Um, but this is a really simple recipe y'all. It's really, you know, you cook in the steak, um, the onions and bell peppers or whatever you wanna put in your egg roll and then adding your cheese, wrapping it up and then frying it. I mean. It, it's not a lot of ingredients um i can see you know rolling the egg rolls can be a little tedious but overall it's a pretty straightforward dish and it came out really delicious y'all and so after you um saute or sear your steak I am going to saute the onions and bell peppers so I added in a little more oil and I am just going to cook this until it is nice and translucent and so I decided to cook this after the steak so that we can pick up all of those delicious flavorful bits from the bottom and again you want to make sure you season every layer of your food so I just added in some salt um, and you can add in a little black pepper if you want to um, and then again I'm just going to cook those uh onions and bell peppers until they are nice and tender and then i'm going to add in some green onion and some fresh garlic you do not have to add those in i just wanted some additional flavor to my egg rolls but those ingredients are totally optional and so um i'm going to saute that and then i'm going to add in the meat to that just to get everything combined and all the flavors to marry and then after you do that, you're going to put this to the side because you want it to cool off um, because you don't want to roll your egg rolls while this is hot because it will tear the wrapper. So I do wish I had chopped the beef up a little smaller since this is going into an egg roll. So it became a little more difficult to eat um, because the um, beef, it wasn't chopped up smaller. Um, but it, it was still fine. Um, that was my only critique and I think I could have added in a little more cheese. And so you can add some cheese in at this step. Some provolone, mozzarella, Monterey Jack, whatever you have. I didn't because I didn't know if I was going to be making a dairy free version. And so I didn't want to add in dairy cheese to all of the meat mixture if, you know, I was going to make this a dairy free and so here I have some provolone cheese and then I have some egg free wrappers because again I didn't know if I was going to be um, making some for my daughter who has a dairy and egg allergy and so I just put some of that meat mixture in there and I, again you want to make sure that it's cooled off and then I added in some provolone cheese and then I'm going to um, seal the edges with a little bit of water and roll that up and then I'm just gonna put it in the fryer. Um, again, my only critique is I wish I had added some more cheese. So, um, cause it's not gonna have that cheese pool that some of y'all probably like. I was totally fine <laughs> with the amount of cheese in here cause I am not a huge cheese person. Um, but the average person who likes, you know, a cheese pool, um, you might wanna put some more cheese in here. Um, you can add provolone and some mozzarella. Um, to get that cheese pulled as in your mozzarella or you could even use some Monterey Jack cheese. Mm -hmm. 
so i am frying this in some vegetable oil um, at 350 degrees fahrenheit and you just want to cook it until it is nice and golden brown so i would say i did about three minutes or so on each side um, but it really just depends on what you're frying it in and all of that um, but again until it is nice and golden brown and crispy and so um, I did this in batches I only did three at a time but again that really just depends on what size pan or if you're using a deep fryer or whatever you're gonna do um, but that is it y'all you want to fry up your egg rolls and then you can serve it with whatever sauce you want I ended up just using um, some of that Hidden Valley secret sauce or whatever it was it's like some spicy secret sauce that they have um but you can serve it with whatever kind of sauce you want and i just let it drain on a wire rack because i wanted it to remain crispy um so again it didn't have that cheese full that some of y'all like for your egg rolls or anything cheesy for that matter but it was still nice and delicious and creamy um and that's it y'all super simple super delicious i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe let me know what kind of recipes y'all want to see if there's a certain food that you like that i haven't made yet but anyway please make sure you like share comment and subscribe see you next time bye